there was obviously times when, you know, when he first got here, we saw how difficult it is at times to transition back into MLS. And it took him a little while to get off the mark. And then we saw a, a tremendous relationship with Obafemi Martins, which which sprung a, a, a tremendous amount of success for, for both Quinn and for Oba. And we saw that relationship. The club had success as well. You know, it didn't quite bring that MLS Cup that I think everybody was hoping. And obviously that gets, <laughs> gets compounded with the Timbers winning it last year as well. But, uh, you know, and, and this year you saw a little bit of frustration at the beginning of the year, uh, and not only from Clint, but I think as the club in general because of the late departure of Oba and, the, and uh, just the results not going the way that, that everybody would like. And then I think we saw, you know, really, you know, the best of Clint for a few games when, when Nicholas came back. We saw a great uh, Copa America Clint was, was a part of. And so it was. It was kind of really, really frustrating. I think, and and look, first and foremost, the most important thing is 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 Clint's health, and that and that you know he's got four young kids and, and a wife and a long life ahead of him. So whenever you start thinking about, look, we play a game, you know, for a living. Yes, it's a great living, and we all enjoy it. But you know, I caught a ball, he kicked a ball. I mean, it's in 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 the, in the big picture. Uh, there's a lot more to life than just kicking and catching a, a soccer ball. So, so we wish him, you know, the best in 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 in, in just a, a long, healthy life. When you when you kind of see where they were, let's go back to that Kansas City game away, the three 0 loss before uh, the transition in coaching. You would have thought that there was absolutely no chance whatsoever that the club was was going to make the playoffs and that it was going to be the first year in club history that they didn't reach that goal. So. Out goes Ziggy, in comes Brian. Not a big change, obviously, with Brian here along with the same time, but just a little bit of philosophical change, and obviously the addition of Nicholas Ladero as well uh, brought uh, just a new kind of a new kind of lease, a new uh, a new re hit the refresh button a little bit, and 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 the team has responded, and they've dug themselves out of the hole. They they responded well after a difficult loss in in Portland, and. You know, and culminated that with a huge win down in LA, which has really given them a, a very good chance of getting above that red line and 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 securing a, a spot in the playoffs. I think the difficult side of the of that whole equation is you saw a very instant response between Nicholas and Clint, and and obviously now with Clint's health issues, that, that there there was a little bit of a of a different learning curve. I think when 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 Nicholas then without having Clint with him, and and I think we're also seeing just a not necessarily a Nico has a big influence of course but I think we're just seeing a continual mature maturation process with <laughs> with Jordan you know I think Jordan just is was a player that was completely full of uh, tons of raw talent um, obviously so much so that Klinsman felt that he wanted to bring in that pace and that explosiveness into the national team while he was still in college and, and, and understanding that coming into the pros there was going to be a learning curve and, and I think we've seen times where we've seen what Jurgen saw in the national team uh, player in, in, in Jordan. And then at also times I think we've seen the college kid that is a rookie and is kind of learning that. But I think seeing the composure of the two finishes uh, against L.A. this last weekend was was a big step forward. And, 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 and I love to see just that continual growth that that Jordan's going to have over the next couple of years because it's not a it's not a one year thing it's not a, a, a week to week thing it is it's I think it's a yearly thing but but the addition of, of Nicholas that continue uh, maturing process from Jordan obviously huge disappointment um, if Clint can't continue on uh, for the remainder of this season and but I think we're just seeing a, a level of energy a level of belief uh, that this club didn't have at the beginning of the season and the real I think the key is really you know up to Jordan and, and, and what he wants to do because if, if you're not fully committed to going to, to Europe having to fight every minute of every day to get yourself 
even in contention to get on the field, much yet actually get on the field, uh, then then you know it's not for you. It's just not going to happen. And and I think for Jordan, I think the that is a question for him. And I, I don't think there's any question that he will have opportunities. The the other question mark will be is what kind of price tag would would the league put on him? What kind you know? There's a whole lot of other aspects uh, other than just I want to go play in Europe. Um, so, but I think talent wise, I don't think there's a question that 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 opportunities would be there if he so chooses.